Good morning, grasshoppers. We better get moving here. So I've decided to return to my former style, modeled more in the face of Magnus Carlsen. Because as I was listening to Anish Giri's uh, first uh, episode podcast with Gotham City Chess, the Gotham City podcast, I should say, Gotham Chess. The more I listened to Anish Giri in that interview, the more I realized why Anish Giri was not world champion. And I felt for him. He could certainly accomplish a lot more. My opponent appeared briefly if everybody saw that green dot, so he definitely looked up my move. Now we're going to play some nice E4, E5 chess. It is Grandmaster Heike Westernen's birthday. I imagined that Heike Westernen's career was far more successful than it was because of the uh, encounters with Bobby Fischer in 60 memorable games and other games, actually, I've seen Heike Westernen play. I would like to thank all my subscribers that watch, like, comment, and share my videos. If you want and we're off Mr. Skouchik I want to thank KM Chess for following KM Chess had actually inquired about sessions and absolutely I am open as the summer approaches I am going to be taking on students and I'm going to try to have a special subscriber rate. This is not a good idea, by the way. That is not defending your pawn. Sometimes you have to defend your pawn, sometimes you have to attack. If you want to be a truly great chess player, try to defend as little as you can. We're just going to continue staking out more space. And a minute and a half later, we have a time advantage. Hopefully the music isn't too loud. See what that could do. Please check our uh, social media for stream announcements and our Discord. I'm going to put it out there just to get make sure that everybody has it. Huh. Well, that was fascinating. How many of these can I actually take? I'm going to take two in a row, it looks like. <clears throat> Let's see how he... Uh... Handles Queenie to check on the next move if he's not careful. It looks like my opponent is playing moves that his coach gave him. I'm trying to guess what opening the coach gave him. I guess the coach gave him the Italian game is black. And instead of playing openings, by the way, you really do need to play chess. You're going to go far, but you have to start looking at the chessboard for the moves. That you wish to play. The dojo is growing, by the way. It looks like we're up to 20 to 26. Got a good rating now as, a, as far as dojo participants go in the top right hand corner. I'm sorry, 23 27. 2,327 members of the dojo. And many of these members joined in the early days when we were running Swisses all the time. Ezrin, good morning. How is the Pacific Northwest? I am partially jealous of you, sir. I know I haven't probably outwardly said that I'm going to come and visit you. In the back of my mind, 
I would probably have to uh, make those arrangements at some point. When it's convenient for you. Summer is coming. Are you playing today, Ezra? I haven't even looked. But we have a good attendance growing here. Earlier I was commenting on the career of Heike Westernen, a little known player, champion of uh, Finland many times over. I met him in um, Two thousand and eleven for the first time? Maybe two thousand ten. I was blown away. Yeah, I think it was two thousand and uh two thousand and ten. The second Spines Memorial. Legend. Doesn't speak any English. Only speaks Finnish and Norwegian. Danish. Scandinavian languages for the most part. I believe he might speak some Russian. But Heike Westernen, small, discreet fellow, keeps to himself, very quiet. Sort of reminds me of what uh, Heinrich Ibsen would be like. And Washington isn't... I've been to the state of Washington. I've been to Seattle coaching the U.S. Chess Championships in 2001. And what else? Waiting just on the boulevard. Doing a lot of covers of songs. I didn't check yesterday's stream to see if um, we got muted because she may be using the original music in the background. I don't think YouTube would allow her to use the original music. All right. I'm going to still treat this like a closed Sicilian, locking down on the d4 square until e4 is played. Now we have a, a very interesting uh, situation where white has played e4. And I'm going to lock down like but Vinick would want me to. Goes on and on and on and on. Waiting. White made first contact with B4. Probably I could have expanded in the center with uh, D5, but I guess I'm going to have to do that now. Can I do that now? Am I concerned? Ah, <sighs> just have to make sure that my queen is not on a square where the knight can attack it on the next move. That's my ideal hope. Hold on to that feeling. Don't stop believing. Everyone's active now.
Well, that was also an interesting move. Do I wish to worry about that pawn? I hope not. I do need to uh, barnacle a little bit. My exchange sacrifice was not so good. I'm going to look into those exchange sacrifices more. I promised myself. I have the book on my desk, actually. A Practical Guide by Sergei Kasparov. It is much better to work on the rest of your game than it is to concentrate on openings. And Anish Giri, unfortunately. saw it. It is almost time to hang it up. Almost. You're the one. Feel my name. To ever ask me twice. So he's preventing uh, the idea of D5. And you just turn and walk away. Oh, oh. And then without you. Caught up in you. Is he going to sack the exchange back because he's up so much material? I wouldn't doubt it, and that he should. Or he can attack my rook. The day when you just turn and walk away, oh no. I can't live without you. I did expect him to do that. Oh, this could leave a mark. Little girl. How to avoid knight g6 check. redo these videos just a wee bit yeah just a wee bit am i getting completely completely unfettered wow a second exchange sacrifice oh no that wasn't an exchange sacrifice that was a blunder on my part aye aye, aye.
Yep. Nicely done, W moves. Nicely done. Two ounces. W moves two ounces. What is going on over here with my music? Put on the old standard. While I try to figure out what's going on. I'm gonna play Geertz my first move here. I've been flying from town to town. Note that I haven't played Bishop E2 as I lost a piece of this one year. Sky. I haven't had any time to play what I need to play. From a London to Saigon, I've been all around the globe. Very unusual choices on my opponent's part, right? Attention. Where are you headed? Knight g4, fine. Seems reasonable. And that one as well. I've been flying from town to town, from a lot to two. All around the world, trying to protect your soul. So, is that really a good square for you? Yes, it is. I have to make sure it doesn't go any farther than this. time before I blundered to aim. Aim. Chess Lions, good morning. How are you? It is great to see you, sir. Chess Lions deserves a shout out. I have to do all the heavy lifting myself. 
I haven't been able to play anything other than my own streams to a certain extent. I can only apologize, to be honest. Basically, I haven't seen you in the offer spiel of heads either, now that I think about it. I am going to play over the board. I am planning on the 50th World Open, if at all possible. <laughs> For those of you who don't know Daniel, Daniel is a very earnest chess streamer. Uh, the other one, hold on, I'm trying to think of the FM, Daniel. I believe that Daniel is a part of Trio Fantastico. Trio Fantastico is a good club that participates in all of the team battles, and we haven't done that in a while. We kind of fell by the wayside as Dark Myth took on additional responsibilities outside of chess. I think my most recent accomplishment was that I became a team leader for, for Opera Spiel in order to get the announcements for the team out. As a result, inquiries into the club have been growing. Good morning, Lauren. Good day. Oh, I'm sure it's going to be a terrible time. I'm going to be playing. But I decided that if I do play, I'm going to stream like Dan and Negrano. I'm going to vlog like Dan and Negrano. I'm going to vlog my way into the event for the round. And I'm going to vlog my way out of each round. Just like Dan and Negrano does. I'm going to pretend like I have a trailer outside in the Rio parking lot. For those of you who don't know who Dan and Negrano is, he is one of the greatest money earners ever in poker. And he is an ambassador to the game across many... Um, in many countries he, he represents. He's from Canada. He is Romanian by... Uh, by culture, lives in Las Vegas. I highly recommend him for insightful uh, common sense and poker knowledge for the most part. Oh yeah? Well, you're doing the monthly lead chess tourneys. That is great. The shield tourneys and the daily tourneys, yeah? Yeah, Lauren. I am reeling. Last night I was called out of billiards for a small house emergency as the uh, plumbing was backing up in the basement. That stinks. It wasn't, uh, ironically, it wasn't as bad as I envisioned on my way home. Obviously, it's pretty bad, but some cleaning, airing out. I'm crossing my fingers that it will be better in no time. This is a very different natured tournament than the one we normally have in the mornings, by the way. We have a Swiss every morning, Daniel. Well, for me, it's early morning. For you, it is perhaps lunchtime. Or not quite lunchtime, maybe brunch time. So we have this Swiss every day, 3-2. You get one chance and one chance only to play your game. And then, in general, you sometimes have time to look at your mistakes. So dead equal with B3, yeah? Here at uh, of Chessable, E4 is best by test, by the way. That move should always be played. My first move was Knight C3, a la Magnus Carlsen. My next move was B3 because I didn't have the nerve to play B4. But I should play Knight E5 here. Bishop D3 is way too creative. I 
I was planning on knight b4, queen e2, g6, and uh, of course white's going to get castled. Wow, e4 is just too bad. My opponent played the best move. Next best move. And this is a mistake. Watching my good friends. But I should play a3 and force the issue, yeah? That's crazy. Queen to d6. My opponent finds that plan a different way with queen c7 and then queen to c6. I'm relegated to defense. The queen f3 threatens the discovery and that's more likely the best move. Also, I get a discovery on the e5 pawn. I can always recapture with the queen. And I need to reinforce this and do this as fast as possible. So here I open up the H file for my opponent and I create complications that are going to... Knight to d2 is obviously the best move because I need more rooks across here. Knight d2 I was concerned about, knight to g4. And of course I can just continue on with knight f1. Let's get back to our... Uh, regularly scheduled programming good morning ginka how are you i hope you're doing well i understand that you are experiencing some gas pipeline difficulties this is i hello that's this is the pressure We have Bulgaria covered here. Easily my favorite player from Bulgaria. Hopefully she does not defend with E3. That's fascinating. We're taking the center. There's no doubt about it that I'm taking the center. I'm going to tag the weaknesses as I see fit <clears throat> as well. We're going to do what we can to ruin our opponent's pawn structure. But now something seems completely wrong. I have the bishop. I do have the bishop. takes d5 is threatened. That much is true. Sometimes you do have to defend. Extra line. What's going on here? All right, I think I finally have to take this spot. Wow, that's craziness. I'm still not sure what's happening here. Oh no, he's attacking my, he's attacking my queen. Help. Oh no. Did I lose a pizza? Did I lose a pizza? I did lose a pizza. I better be really, really on my P's and Q's now.
on my P's and Q's. Whoa. Am I being mated? It is possible that I am being mated. Well, I'm getting mated that way. Check and checkmate? Not quite. Oh yes, I am getting mated. Nicely done, Ginka. She's gotten... Like, of course I'm rooting for her to win. Now I'm more of a chess player though, Daniel. Are you a D4 player because your name begins with Daniel? You're a D player? Part of the D crew? This goes against everything that D4 stands for. Taylor Memer, how are you? Good to see you. Good morning. Yeah, that's actually one of the great strategies, Lauren, to beat a couple of 2400s. Um, when I was beating 2400s on a regular basis, uh, when I was becoming a master, all I had to do was play a good solid game and they would panic. I think I should just say good day, like Lauren says for Taylor Memer. Good day, and that, that means everything, right? It doesn't necessarily mean morning. It doesn't mean afternoon. It just means good the whole day. Good day. So in any event, Bishop G5 is an inaccuracy, and I should play C takes D4. Why not? Knight takes d4 is an inaccuracy. They expect me to play knight to e4 and embarrass the bishop. That is true. I have so many good moves here, like queen to b6, queen a5 check. All right, I've learned something. <coughs> My opponent literally throws away a full, almost a full point in material by giving up the bishop for the knight. I restrict the knight. Now here, bishop a6, I thought, was uh, definitely not appropriate. e5, rook to g8, both of which are much better. I had this predetermined uh, idea that I was going to keep him from castling. Or keep Ginkgo from castling. Bishop takes b2. Now I know. And then I blundered a piece. Back to the tournament, everyone. I've made it to page two of my six round Swiss. Good day, indeed. Is it really evening for you, Taylor? I feel like Taylor is a streamer. I remember seeing Taylor somewhere. Oh, yes, it looks like he is. Hold the moment. 7 p.m. Hold the phone here. It is great to have you, Taylor. Nice to have you. What is your instrument of choice, by the way? Whoa. All right, nothing better than the King's Gambit where Black has played C5. You're welcome. I'm trying to recall. I'm playing a series of um, cover artists. I know that you probably have covered your share of things on your stream.
I'm going after the good night. And you stream low elo chess. I believe that's probably how I found you the first time. So we've got your jam on almost here. This is a heavy electric guitar. Although you may be more, more of an acoustic guy like me. Now what's holding that up? What is holding that one up? That pawn on e5. What is holding that pawn up? Can I do it this way? Am I allowed to live life this risky? I get rid of a side pawn for a center pawn in any event. I like it. Bishop on c6 seem highly misplaced as it would be good to reclaim control of the d4 square with a bishop to g4. And vinyl stuff, yeah. Very cool. I believe I have definitely stopped in on your stream, whether I said something or not. I'm not taking any material, by the way. Was going to threaten to take material. That's more important than the execution. I know it's been said before, but it's true. The idea of knight takes g5 could have run into queen to g5, and my king side would be devastated. The only thing more devastating than that would be me being devastated. Ah, that's possible. Definitely, definitely possible that I came in with logic. I'm still trying to get a good bishop to g5 or e3 if I can get it. Yeah, logic is a good guy. Logic's reasoning is not so good, but logic's logic is probably up to stuff. Logic's reasoning for not playing in the morning Swiss for training is that he loses rating points. The players are too tough. I'm not going to give up on him. But honestly, the players are supposed to be difficult. Otherwise, you're not learning. We're in this to get better. I'm aiming at a greater goal than my rating tomorrow. Let's just put it that way. My goal is not my rating today my goal is my rating my title next year <clears throat> brass against absolutely Arakito. good morning i missed i missed uh i was in chicago all weekend and i missed oscar tearing up the super billiards expo I got back on Monday and I discovered that he was uh, on the final day wreaking havoc. Or at least on the semi-final day. I wonder if Desiree was there as well. Yeah, I was a little bumped. Brass against. There they are. The crowd called out for more. The room was humming harder. Now the only problem is they can't be um When we called out They can't be playing the original music, I don't think. Otherwise, we'll get muted. Art and heavy metal covers. It led to a whole 
I do play over the board. My next tournament, I'm hoping, will be the 50th World Open in Philadelphia. They have uh, sections for all ratings, by the way, in case you were wondering. <clears throat> Check out chessaction.com. And chessaction.com lists all of the events across the country. I apologize. I probably could have muted myself. That'll actually Let me check my schedule. I don't think I could do it today. I'm overdue for checking my train schedule, though. But we can do it soon, Alexi. Where's my calendar? There it is. All these tiny icons going across my dashboard. Across my taskbar. I have the writer's workshop this morning right after Sunrise Chess that we volunteered for. I have no idea what I'm doing with that. 2A and 2D today. 2B and 2C tomorrow. Lovely. I do have to get going. I'm going to refund you. I'm going to refund you, Alexi. But I can't do it today. In the past, I would sometimes keep the uh, points in limbo. Really? Hard times. That's what I really need. I need a, a, instead of my own random personal trophies in the background, I need to keep a list of uh, Azrin in the Pacific Northwest and uh, you in uh, Midwestern California. Apostolate, and that way I can map out my possibilities of, uh, of traveling and doing a couple of IRL streams in those general areas. Streamers, that much is true. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Taylor. That's horrible. Yeah, it doesn't get any more chill than this. We're here to study our games afterwards usually, but I'm rushing off. I teach chess 24-7. Uh, so I'm a little burnt out from chess. So I'm also chilling because I want to play with the community that wants to be better at chess. We'll discuss things, not necessarily in a full lesson type format. We have one game left in this arena, in this, uh, in this tournament. This one, yeah. Let's go this one for uh, Chess Lions, Daniel Vimovsky. It's a shout out for Taylor and Chess Lions again for visiting our stream. 
Wishnag. That's interesting. I'm always curious as to how I should uh, how I should handle this one. So we're in the full on England gambit. I wonder if I played uh, Bishop F4 if he was going to play Bishop C5. Have I beaten him like this before? We've never played before. Yes, yes. Oh, I could have gone the other way as well. I'm just going to outpost my knight. Give myself a good anchor. As best I can. I'm curious. Wow. What do we think, everyone? Do we draw the king out or do we draw the rook out? <clears throat> Looks like we should draw the rook out. Just keep all of the pressure on. Just let him know how much we're enjoying life. Should I play e5? Or should I just back up my bishop and pretend like this is the way to go? Very interesting. Yeah, and I blundered. Why do I play like this? That is the question. We'll finish our opening one way or the other. <clears throat> Let's go with it this way. I am down a piece after all, by the way. I am down a pizza. It's not that hard for him to find good moves. It really, 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 really isn't hard for him to find good moves. I'm losing another pawn. I'm about to lose to Blishnig. What is our, uh, our standing? We've already lost three games. This is going to be the first morning. This is going to be the first morning when I lose four games, and I'm going to lose my fourth game. Well, now it's two pieces for a ruck. So small gains. Activation station.
It's very, very cool and interesting, sir. This is no longer a completely the chill chest train that I expected it to be, to be honest. I expected that. Well, that might tax our playing ability. I'm not after, by the way, the peace. I'm after the restriction of the king. Do I have a clear path? I don't know. I was actually torn there as to whether or not I could win a piece with Rook H4. I believe that Rook H4 won a piece as well. These guys really do a mean rage against the machine. There is no doubt in my mind about that. Can I do it this way? <coughs> I just have to make sure I don't actually jettison on time. Baby, baby, baby. Let's start gaining some headway. They were going to win this in the king and pawn endgame, by the way. That's usually how these games are won. And where are you headed? Is the knight trapped? It looks like it's trapped. Now we're just going to win the king and pot end game. Can we do that? Do I need to cover this square? And then we attack the knight? I, I apologize to everybody whom I said I was going to win the king and pot end game. Cutting off the king. Cutting off the king up. Oh. That was pretty impressive, I have to admit. I should not be down that much material again. I managed to avoid losing a fourth game in this event, which is what I've been doing. You know, I've sort of been giving up on the uh, family-friendly message. Taylor Memer, nicely done. I like that. I'm glad that you have the same problem I do. You have the, the I'm, I, all the streamers I visit have these really cool names for their emotes, and you and I have these three numbers in the middle, right? Like you've got Taylor290 checkmate. And I have Master 845X. It's really terrible. 
for example, a few of my favorite emotes to use are the ones that are in the background here. For example. I love the sun behind this uh, on Fushimo Island, I believe it is in Japan. That is cool. Lauren, I think I showed you how to beat uh, resoundingly and convincingly the opponent that you faced in your first round. No. Yes, I, 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 sh I gave you a perfect recipe for defeating Lishnig by being totally lost. <laughs> Where's my hysterical emote? Hold on a moment. Seriously, OMG, and my hysterical. He did play well, and he played really terribly in the opening, too, which accomplished some points for him. But I do need to get going. It is six o'clock, and if I'm going to catch my train to be at school on time. Taylor Derp. Derp. Now, I had a horrible position out of the opening against him. He's a terrible attacker. So there we go. Let's see here. Please stick around as we decide where we're going. Where do we go from here? Taylor, do you stream on late chess? Oh, I'm a big fan of this one. Hold on, before I go anywhere, I have to make sure that I'm following this group. This is really awesome. Uh, I need more cover bands. That's for sure. I might have to add that one. Now they do what they told you. You know what? There's a little known fellow. I am going to give him a nod. I don't know what he's doing, but I find him very amusing. I don't necessarily know if he's talking on a stream, but I'm going to test.com. Check out, I beat Magnus Carlson here. I'm not looking for anything. I just want to make his day. He is a grandmaster. What? Maybe he's not a Grandmaster. Oh, he's watching. Lose until you win is his motto. He's only got 20 followers. That's crazy. I beat Magnus Carlson. Please check out I Beat Magnus Carlson and see what you can do to double him up, all right? He doesn't fit our normal bill, but he is very amusing, to say the least, because I must run and I don't have a, uh, a chance. I don't know what his story is, but let's see what happens. Oh, I see. He might be just streaming uh, Lee Chess TV for fun. <laughs> Great one. Taylor Memer. GM Focus. That's the shot. In any event, hopefully he'll return the favor someday if he's, if he's actually doing stuff. Cheers. 